This is Shelley Craft coming to you live on SNN Live on location in New York City. I'm with Mike Nall, Biosept Inc., publicly traded company, BIOC. Mike, welcome back to SNN Live. Thank you, Shelley. Glad to be here. It's good to have you. Let's get right into it. Give us an overview on Biosept. Well, at Biosept, we're bringing the concept of liquid biopsy to the market. And a liquid biopsy sounds complicated, Shelley, but it's really quite simple. It's genomic testing that normally requires a surgical biopsy, and we can do that with a simple blood draw. That's game-changing, isn't it? It is. You know, there's a lot of patients who suffer from cancer where a biopsy just is not possible. They're either too sick to withstand a biopsy, or if they have a surgical biopsy, there's not enough tissue left to provide the needed genomic testing that's required for a physician to use that data to make a treatment decision. So we can make that with a simple tube of blood. I mean, you know, interestingly enough, I'm also thinking of the cost savings to patients mm -hmm. and to the healthcare system. Please explain, because am I onto something? You absolutely are. You know, the average cost of a biopsy in America is about $15,000. And that sounds expensive, but you've got to realize that includes the hospital charges, the physician charges, the pharmacy, radiology, it goes on and on. All of us who have seen bills from procedures see those come through. A simple blood draw, 100 bucks. From there, the cost of the genomic testing is the same, whether it's done on blood or it's done on the tissue. So a huge savings for the healthcare system. What's the comparative study say on uh, false positives? Well, you know what? We have a highly sensitive and specific test, which is what you're asking about with false positives. And in fact, some of that data was recently presented at the World Lung Conference, which was just held in Denver. And we showed high correlation between a tissue biopsy and our liquid biopsy offering. What's going on in the company? What else is new? Well, at that meeting, we also announced data of a collaboration we have with a company called Insight Genetics. And it showed that we were able to get their assay that they had previously gotten to work on a tissue, surgical tissue biopsy. We were able to help them get it to work on blood as well. So we isolated the tumor material out of the blood, sent that to Insight Genetics, and they ran their tissue validated assay on it. We presented that data um, just last Monday at the conference. So let me ask you, is what you've developed a potential platform for, you know, more than just the disease you're discussing? It could be. In fact, the, the genesis of our company was actually in the prenatal testing space, but we moved over to cancer in the late 2000s, had a commercialized test ready and just a couple years after that, and that's when we did our IPO. But there's a lot of ways you could use it, but we're focused on helping patients with oncology at Biosept, and that's our solid go-to-market strategy today. Where are you in terms of uh, FDA? Well, as a laboratory, FDA approval is not required for us to offer these testing. We have what's called a lab developed test, and the laboratory industry operates outside the FDA. However, we are keeping abreast of any of the changes that are going on with the FDA and regulation. How soon are you to market, and you know, how are you going about it? We have a commercialized test today, so patients today, every day, get tests done in our lab at Biosept. We have a sales team out there working throughout the country, and as we speak, there's specimens being run in our lab today. We've done hundreds of specimens for patients just since launching last year. How is the growth of the uh, usage of your product? Grown robustly. As I said, we're now doing um, hundreds per month, and so that's gone from zero last year when we launched the test. So we soon will be at thousands, and we continue to grow. What's the average cost of the test? The average cost ranges anywhere between $600 and about $1,200 to $1,500. It all depends on the information the physician is ordering to get that that's needed on that for that patient. So the more tests they order, the more that the cost is for the patient, but still a drop in the bucket compared to the cost of that surgical tissue biopsy that we're compared to. And of course, in your business, I have to ask, is it reimbursable? It is. We get paid today from the payers. So that's one of the nice things. We're using established CPD codes for the testing that we do. We're almost at the you know, end of 2015. Mm -hmm. If you had to look ahead to 2016, where do you see the company positioned? Continuing to um, have our robust growth that we've had. We'll have um, even more partnership agreements than we've already announced today. And also continuing to launch more tests. One of the key tests that we have coming up is called PDL1, which is a biomarker that helps decide patients for immunotherapy, another hot topic in oncology today. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a website out there, please. Please go to our website at www.biosept.com to learn more about our company. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Nall, Biosept, Inc. It's a publicly traded company, B-I-O-C. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live on location in New York City. 
Mike, thanks for coming on. Thank you, Shelley. Good to have you. Thank you.